This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can remove the background from an image using Affinity Photo. So to get us started here, the first thing we want to do is open up our image. So I'll come up here to where it says File, and I'll click on Open. And I'm looking for my image here on my hard drive, and as you can see, I have it opened up. Now the first thing you want to do is come over here to the Layers menu, and you want to click on this little lock icon right here to unlock the image. Very important step. What we're going to do in this tutorial will not work unless you do that first. And then you have to right click the layer and, and go down to where it says rasterize and trim. That's going to allow you to delete segments of the image right there. So those two steps are very important. So make sure that you unlock the layer and then right click it and go to rasterize and trim. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to use the selection brush to create a selection around the background that we'd like to delete out, which in this case would be the sky. So let's grab this selection brush, which is located over here, or you could press W on the keyboard. Now, if you notice here, um, my cursor has turned into a circle. This represents the size of the selection brush. I can use the left and right bracket keys on my keyboard to make that brush bigger or smaller. So what I want to do now is I want to use this brush to paint in a selection over the background that I'd like to delete out of the image, or in this case, it would be the sky with the clouds here. So I'm going to begin painting around the sky here. And if you notice, as I do that, the selection is automatically snapping to the edges of the photo uh, using its own internal algorithm to determine where the uh, edges should be. Now, if you notice, the selection... The automated selection is not perfect. It's including some areas that it shouldn't be, like parts of the cyclist here. But that's okay because we're going to go back and refine that in just a minute. The important thing that we're doing right now is just creating a selection around the background. Now, if you notice, I'm, move, I'm zooming in and out and moving around. To zoom in and out, just hold Control and roll up and down on your mouse wheel. And to move the, the cursor around, just press down your mouse wheel and just move your mouse like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and paint in the rest of the sky. I'm going to make the brush a little bigger, again, using the bracket keys. The right bracket key makes it bigger. And I'm going to keep making this selection a little bigger like this. And I want this to encompass the entire sky. And there you go. Now it's the selection has been created going around the sky. So what we want to do is we want to refine this selection some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button up here that says Refine. And you got to give it a second to load. And as you can see here, now what it does is it creates a red mask over the areas that are the background. Okay, now this is, can be a little confusing because if you look at this menu right here, you have two, two different settings we'll be working with, the foreground and the background. And in this example, it's actually reversed. The foreground represents the sky that we've selected and the background represents the subject that we're leaving intact. So it's a little, little confusing. So let's grab the background setting here and I'm going to zoom in on this. And I want to paint in my subject here to make sure he's covered with this red mask. So I'm going to use the, the left bracket key to bring that brush size down a little bit. And I just want to paint over the subject here like this, being very careful not to touch the edges of the subject. You want to just paint the inside of it like that right there and then let go. And then it'll automatically add in the rest of it there, as you can see there. Now I just want to go in and paint through the rest of this like this. And it should automatically create a selection going around the subject right there. I want to grab the backpack right here. There we go. I want to do the same thing down here. I want to make sure it grabs the subject over here as well. Let me bring the size of the brush down. I want to grab this selection right here. Now, if you notice what I just did there, I made a mistake there. I made the brush a little too big and I painted close to the edge or outside of the edge because there's some red discoloration out there. So let me press Control Z to undo that. And let me make this brush a little smaller. And I just want to paint a very thin stripe going through there. And it should automatically grab the edges like that. Okay. Now what I want to do is go through here and look for areas where it missed parts of the, uh, the grass here. So let me make this a little bigger. Let me just paint that like that. And there you go. It'll grab that. Over here, there seems to be a missed edge right there. There we go. Let me just go through here, see if anything's missing. So far, so good. Okay, so once we've done that, now what we want to do is delete out the negative space area. So hold on, let me just make sure that this is selected right there. There we go. Now what we want to do is delete out the negative space areas right here. So let's go over here to the foreground selection in this menu, make the brush a little bigger. And I just want to paint out that area, a large selection of that area like that. Now, if you notice what I'm doing here, I'm not touching the edges of anything. I'm just painting out the large space right there. And then it'll automatically determine where the edges are. And then from there, you can bring down your brush and fix any imperfections like as you see right there. 
Okay, that's looking good. Let me make this a little smaller. Let me fix, let me get rid of this negative space right here. And again, to move the page around, I'm just pressing down the mouse wheel and moving the mouse. Let's get rid of that area. And then we will get rid of this area in here. And I'm sure at this point you get the idea. I'm just kind of um, doing this quickly to get this video done with. I don't want to uh, take up too much of your time here. If you want, you could be a little more meticulous with this. Uh, let me just get, get rid of this over here. Make sure everything's good over here. And if you zoom out, uh, you could see, I think that's looking pretty good right there. I think that right there is enough to make an accurate selection. So once you're finished, you could just press the uh, apply button right here. And as you can see, it's created a new selection as represented by the dotted lines or the marquee. And once you've done that, you could just press delete on your keyboard. Or if you're using a Mac and you don't have a delete key, you can go to edit. You can go to edit cut. Let me just undo that real quick. Okay, now once you're done with that, you can get rid of the selection by going to select, deselect, or you could press control D on the keyboard. And uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can go about deleting the background from an image using Affinity Photo. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.